The absolute number one question that I get is, Trevin, what products should I sell? Well, today I'm going to give you guys the answer of what you should and shouldn't sell in 2024 when it comes to selling on Amazon. Let's get into it. All right, so let's dive right into it and teach you that number one skill set that is going to make you more money in 2024 than anything else, and that is product research. If you can master this one skill set, your life will be a lot easier and your money situation will be a lot better. So let's dive into my screen and break down what you should and shouldn't sell, and I'm gonna show you guys an exact step-by-step -step product research strategy to find the products that you should sell. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, like the video, drop a comment. Every single week, I'm picking one lucky winner to give $100 by doing just that. Liking this video, subscribing, leaving a comment, and then you have to follow me on Instagram where I make the announcement for that one lucky person. So let's come over here and let's talk about the winning criteria. And if you guys want access to this uh, complete sheet that breaks down what's good and what's bad and what to look at and what to sell, send me a DM on Instagram saying winning product criteria. I will send this to you completely free. All you need to do is follow me. But right here, we've got the tips for what to sell for beginners in 2024. So first, what should we not sell? So this is how you will fail miserably on Amazon. If you sell cheap products, if you sell competitive products, if you sell trendy and fad products, and if you sell restricted products, you got to avoid those. And what you should sell is products that are high end with premium pricing. This is something that's super important and the competition and the barrier to entry is a lot higher, less the competition is a lot less. So that is something important. The second, this is one of the most important, it solves a problem. So if you can figure out how to make somebody's life better, you will crush it. If you can launch a product that is better than your competition, you will crush it. If you can solve a problem, that's what you're looking for. The next thing is low brand dominance. You don't want one seller dominating the entire market. You want a wide variety of sellers that are crushing it. So on that first page, you should have 10 plus people doing five to eight to $10,000. If you just have one seller doing $200,000 and everyone else is doing three grand, well, that's going to be tough because they have are just dominating that niche. And so you want to find a niche where there are multiple products, multiple brands that are crushing it. The next thing is more keywords to describe a product. Again, we're going to dive into each of these and what they mean. I just want to kind of break it down for you guys. And then the last one is a giftable product. This is just kind of that bonus during the holiday season, during uh, different times of the year, like Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter, um, things of that nature. You will crush it birthdays. It's just easier to sell a product that's giftable. So now that we've kind of got those kind of things of what to sell and what not to sell, that's great. But if we don't actually know how to find the products of what to sell and what not to sell, then it does us no good. So we're going to come over here and you're going to need to get a tool called Helium 10. So I'll put the link down below. Uh, there's a 20% discount code for six months. So you guys will have access to everything that I'm going to be going over um, for um, $80 per month. So if we come right here, we come to black box. So if we come to tools, you, you click on black box. This is Amazon product research and you click on the keywords tab. This is where we're going to go in, filter our criteria to fit what we should and shouldn't sell. So the first thing is we're looking to sell high end, uh, premium products. So what we're going to do in black box is we're going to put a price minimum. We don't want to sell anything cheaper than let's say $40. This is going to be kind of that, that bottom tier $40 price point. Again, you can go and sell a product that's cheaper. There are people that crush it with like a 20, $30, but if you're selling a product that's like 10, $8, you're going to get absolutely hammered when it comes to competition and PPC. So we'll just say $40 um, max, depending on your budget, you might want to put um, a max on it. So we'll just say $200. And then if we come back to the criteria, the next thing uh, to what not to do is competitive products. So we don't want to sell um, in categories where the competition is just absolutely brutal. So we're going to come back to black box and we'll go to the review uh, count and we'll just say no more than 500 reviews. If your competition has a thousand plus reviews, then it might be a little bit more difficult to enter into the market. So that's the next step. Um, not trendy or a fad, which I will show you how to verify that restricted products. What we're going to do is we're going to select categories that I know I'm eligible 
eligible to sell in. So if we come to the categories, we're going to come and look inside the home and kitchen, the kitchen and dining, office products. Um, we'll go to sports and outdoors and we'll call it good at that. There's obviously other categories, but we'll just look at those four. Then if we look at um, solves a problem equals good reviews, this is where we're going to specifically look for problems to solve. So if we come to black box and we type in the review rating, we want to find products that have less than 4.2 star rating. And what this is going to allow us to do is find where sellers are doing well, but they have bad reviews. And if they have bad reviews, we can fix those problems. We can solve a problem. We can improve the product. And that's where we dominate. So that's that. Um, and then more keywords to describe a product. So this is where we're going to come in and look at the search volume. So we want to find a keyword that's being searched um, a number of times. So we'll say at least uh, 25, uh, we'll just say 2000. And then we'll say the monthly revenue. Like I mentioned, we don't want it brand dominance. We don't just want one seller selling 200,000. We want a wide variety of sellers selling over, we'll say $7,000. And from there, we've got a really good um, kind of breakdown of our criteria of what we're looking for and just like that we're going to hit search just like this helium 10 is going to then pull all of the data that we entered in and find products that fit that criteria and as you can see we've got 183 phrases found and from there you just scroll and you see what catches your attention and what is interesting and what's not this music boxing machine as you can see got four reviews 3.5 star rating and they're doing 16 grand a month so that's something that, hey, that might be interesting to sell. I'm gonna click on it. And obviously you can see that there's a lot of sellers that have terrible reviews, no reviews, and they're doing extremely well. 500 plus bought last month, that's insane. Now, I will say that this is a product that I probably wouldn't recommend for a beginner, just because there's some complexity to it with it being an electronic, looks like there's an app integration, but if you're experienced and if you're um, super familiar with electronics and you're all about that, then hey, this is something that you can look at. Like there's terrible, terrible reviews, yet they're crushing it. So for me, I'm not gonna sell that, but here's the next one, vi uh, Volleyball Spike Trainer. So again, that's interesting, 450 reviews, 4.1 stars. They're doing eight grand a month. And you can see the search volume is 3000, so that's decent. So right here, you can see that there are different types of volleyball spike trainers and they don't have like amazing reviews. There's some new products that have bad reviews. This one is an existing one. They got 3.7 out of five star rating and they bought 600 last month. It's a little bit cheaper. So it's like, ah, I don't know. But it, let's say you're an expert with volleyball or you love volleyball and you know the market like the back of your hand and you're like, hey, I know how to improve this product. I know how to make it better. Well, there could be an opportunity for you. For me, that's not my expertise. So I'm gonna continue looking. Um, we've got mobile bookshelf. We got a soccer rebounder. Now that's something that I'm very interested in because I grew up playing soccer. And if there is an opportunity here, I know I can make the product better. I know I can use the product because I, I play soccer. And this is something that I would know the ins and outs of. And you can see that this practice net, 4.1 out of five star rating, not great. Uh, this one, again, 19 reviews, 3.9 out of five star rating, so not ideal. Um, this one just launched, uh, this one just launched and 50 plus bought last month. So as you can see, literally on that first page, these, these sellers are doing well and they have bad reviews or they have no reviews. And that's where you can come in and improve and come back to this criteria. And you can see high-end products with premium price points. Well, you can see that on the soccer rebounder, they're selling for 70, 200, 150 bucks, 120 bucks. Well, that checks off that box. Um, it solves a problem. Well, there's a lot of sellers that have bad reviews. So it's probably gonna be pretty easy to come to market with a, pro a product that solves their problem. And then me having a soccer background, I know exactly how to use it, how to make it better and I can use it personally and then it will help me with my video content, it will help me with my, my images, it'll help me with uh, promoting the product because I can actually use the product myself so it's a little bit more relatable. Um, so we can come back here, so that's good. Low brand dominance, well let's look, we'll come over here, pull up the Chrome extension and see how the, the sellers are doing and if it's brand dominance or not. So you can see that there are sellers doing 13 grand. This one seller, it looks like they are crushing it 
But then if you scroll down here, you'll see that there's other sellers doing 20,000, 10,000, 21,000, 40,000, 38,000. So there's a lot of sellers that are doing extremely well. Yes, there's this one that is doing good, but the thing that you'll note is they have the best reviews because they've solved a problem. So if you can come in and come up with a net that is more improved because it seems like these nets have the bad reviews. So if you could figure out a way to improve the net, you're going to make a lot of money because this thing is a big block and you can't make the packaging as small. It's a little bit more robust. It's a lot heavier. It's gonna cost a lot more to produce. It's gonna cost a lot more to ship. So if you can create um, a portable uh, soccer rebounding net that has all of the, the, the solving all the problems that they're talking about, well, you're going to win because this seller, I mean, they're doing, they, they just launched and they're doing 3,200 a month and they have terrible reviews, like not good at all. Same with this one. They're terrible reviews um, and yeah, their revenue shows. They're doing 1,200, which again, I mean, 1,200 bucks for that bad of a, list, uh, of a listing. This one just launched and they're already doing 10 grand. So as you can see, there's a lot of opportunity with this market. So we'll come back and see uh, the low brand dominance. There's a ton of sellers doing extremely well. More keywords to describe the product. So that's the next thing that I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna come right here and I'm going to click on my competition and I'm going to see what keywords I can come up with. So I'm gonna click on that one, that one, um, and click on this new one. And I'm going to hit Run Cerebro. And this is where I'm going to pull a keyword report seeing are there more keywords than just the term soccer rebounder and this is where you're going to see how much actual demand is there what keywords how competitive are the keywords and again one of the most important things for new sellers to understand is being on page one is where the money is at and so you want to figure out where your competition is on page one because if they're on page one that's where they're generating a lot of the sales and that's what the position rank is right here so what you're going to do is the position rank you're going to go to 1 to 20 and this is where they're going to be in the 20th spot is on that first page so 1 to 20 you're on that first page so I'm going to hit apply filters and we're going to see that there's 99 keywords that describe this which is fantastic um, we've got soccer, which that's generic. So I'm going to delete that. We got soccer rebounder, which is being searched a lot. Soccer equipment, rebounder, soccer, soccer trainer, soccer tracker, soccer equipment for training, soccer board, uh, soccer rebound board. There are a ton of keywords that are describing the specific soccer rebounder. There's a lot of different ways to describe that, which that is a great sign. So that is another thing. Giftable product. I would say it's it's giftable. It's not like the most giftable, but at the same time, like uh, a dad, like if I have a little boy that's into soccer, I'm going to want to buy this product for him because it's he's going to get better. And that is a great product is, is this something that a parent will buy for a kid? Yes. They want their kid to excel. They want them to be the best. And so they're going to buy them the best equipment. So I would say that it checks off that. It's not trendy, it's not uh, competitive, it's not a cheap product, it's not a restricted product. This is checking off the boxes of what you should be selling in 2024. So that's a great, great sign. We're going to continue um, looking on and, and verifying um, some other products, but just like that, we found a potential um, item. Um, right here, tree climbing gear. I'm gonna look at this and one thing um, that uh, I'm gonna kinda check is pull up the Chrome extension and see the, the search volume and look at some data. So right here we got 5,000 search, which is great. I'm gonna look at the, uh, the historical data all time and it looks like it's kind of on a down uh, downwards trend, which is not great. It looks like it's kind of going down. So maybe that's not something that I'm super interested in, but at the same time, like sellers are still crushing it. So like there still could be opportunity. Um, a time clock, a fold out chair bed, um, this is interesting. Um, I think I've been seeing this on uh, TikTok a little bit. Is it's like a little, like a full chair that converts into a bed and they're going viral. So this could be another opportunity, another idea of, hey, a chair bed. Yes, this is a big product and this is where it's going to cost a little bit more, but this could be an interesting product, like really interesting. Um, it's just a, a chair that folds out into a bed. So I'm gonna pull up um, the Chrome extension and see what these sellers are doing 
and kind of get a feel for it. I mean, these sellers are crushing it, 40,000, 80,000. That's absolutely insane. And it looks like they're just like little pads. So that could be something. And they, they do have a little bit, they, they have quite a few reviews like this one, but they have bad reviews. And then this one is fairly new that has better reviews and they're selling it for even more, like $100 more. So, I mean, there's still opportunity, but I, I probably am going to continue on looking. We've got a tactical headset, LED dresser, textured wall art, kids wardrobe, tree climbing spikes. Like there's 10 pages. We just got through the first page and we already found a couple potential products. So for you to say that there's no products left to sell, I don't know what you're talking about. There's tons, tons of products. You just need to know what to look for. And hopefully this video showed you exactly that of what to sell and not sell and what are those criteria. And again, I'll send you that criteria cheat sheet completely free. Just send me a DM on Instagram. You guys can win $100 as well by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, dropping a comment. I appreciate your guys' support. And if you guys need additional help with product research, if you want me and my team to verify your products, if you want... Uh, if you want us to help launch your product to page one, then book a free consultation down below. We'll take you through the entire A to Z process. We'll show you the ins and outs on how to crush Amazon. There's so much opportunity. We have so many students that are absolutely crushing it. The success stories that are coming in are just absolutely insane. And I want you guys to be the next student success story. So click the link down below, get a, a free consultation, go through master product research the number one skill set that will make you more money this year master product research so take the time do your research go through the process and i promise it will pay dividends in the long run so i hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video